hope you all are enjoying this Purpose Identity Management series, this deep dive. Uh, my name is Kieran Tross. If this is the first video that you're watching, hopefully you will go back and watch this whole series because there's a lot of information here. Uh, but if you're only here because you want to look at audit history and see how you activate a role, you have chosen the right video uh, to walk you through it. So um, audit history is really great. Uh, if you need to provide this information to an auditor, uh, you have the ability to do so. I'll show you exactly how to make sure that your organization is following through and um, staying within those guardrails of least privilege. So uh, what I want to do is first, I want we're in Microsoft Entra, so if you can please get to Microsoft Entra on your side, just entra.microsoft.com. We're going to come all the way down here to Identity Governance. Once you're in Identity Governance, we're going to go to Privilege Identity Management. Over here, we're going to go over here to Microsoft Entra Roles. And then we could come down here to assignments. And here we can see the different assignments that we have. So I assigned something to test user one. Um, and you can see, you know, the start time and end time and all the other stuff right there. Uh, so what we want to do first is uh, we could look at our audit history, which is right down here, my audits, right? But what I really want to do is um, I want to go into and activate this account. So let's sign in on the test user one, and then uh, we can activate the account. And I'll show you how you go about doing that. All right, so I'm signed into test user one. I went to privilege identity management. I didn't go to Microsoft Entra. I just went to portal to Azure. And then I typed in here, privilege identity management, and I got here. So once you're here, uh, you can go to my roles for that user. And then you'll see the roles that you have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click activate. And what's great about this is that you, it says additional verification required, click to continue. So I have to verify again. And what it's going to do is it send me a text message. Okay, so now once I'm able to go through the multi-factor authentication, uh, what it does is it says um, you, just three things up here, right? So you have your roles. It lets you know exactly, you know, your start and time. It lets you know exactly uh, the resource that you have. If it's a specific resource or it's just a default directory. Um, and then you have this activate, and then it also gives you the scope of the directory as well, right? So you can select scope if you want to, and you could kind of go and drill down even further if you want to, or you could just leave it to that. But over here on activation, you could do custom activation start. So you can change it up if you want to give yourself a little bit less time. Like I don't need that much time. You can do that if you want, or you can leave it the way it is. Um, it's totally up to you. Um, I, m I mentioned this earlier about the ticketing system. So let's say if I had a ticketing system and I could say, okay, I'm referenced ticket two, zero, three, four, five, you know, just making something up. Uh, but just so you know that this is only for informational purposes, that ticketing system, it does not, it does not coordinate to like a service now or something like that. It's just for you to put your information in. Um, sorry, this is where I should be putting that in two, zero, three, four, five. And then I would say, um, I don't know, um, service now still something in there and the reason I'm gonna say um, a tutorial video and I can just go ahead and activate So now you're getting this, uh, this little banner up here, your active active assignment has changed. Click here to view your active assignment. And then now you see it's, it's now it's active that you, um, uh, your activation for this role is active. And if I wanted to go ahead and deactivate it, I could go ahead and do that. So now I have the permissions of the application administrator. So in order for us to be able to view uh, the uh, audit history, uh, we need to go to our dynamic governance and I'm back over on the uh, global admin side, uh, my global administrator side. So I'm on privilege identity management. And then right here, I'm going to go to my marks of entre roles. And then down here, we have our resource audit. 
So a resource audit is going to show us uh, different audit stuff that's happening throughout the organization. So we can see stuff like, you know, um, when I added the eligible role for the application administrator for test user one, you can see the time and date when I did that. And then you can also see um, test user one requester. You can see what happened there. Add member to role completed, requested PIM activation. Um, see right here, it says add eligible member to role in, to, in PIM request time bound at eligible role in PIM completed. So you see, this is when I uh, gave them the rights. And then here, add member to role requested. This is when the user requested, test user one when we requested it. And then here, add member to role completed. It tells you exactly when the activation was completed as well. So you can change the time span. Let's just say if I wanted to do it for like the last week. I can see a lot of things that happened within the last week. You can see, you know, remove member from role and PIM completed. It gives us everything that happens here. Now, obviously my name is showing up a whole lot because I'm the one that's making these requests and doing this stuff for the videos. And you can see everything that happens within your organization. This is for resource audit. So this is what you would view if you want to see all the activity within your Microsoft Entre roles. Now, let's say if you wanted to see all the activity for your roles, like your audit history. So you'd go to my audit down here. And then right here, I can see stuff that's more pertaining to me. So if I go to last day earlier in this one, in the last day, I was seeing test user one because that's for everything. Right. But down here, I'm only going to see stuff that's only for me. So if I were to go to the last week. I see everything that's related to me here. So this is how you would go about seeing all the stuff that's related to you. Um, and then that's pretty much it. So we were able to, in this video, uh, one, walk you through activating a role and show you how you do that within that user. You'd go into Microsoft Entra or even Portal to Azure, and they'd activate the role on their end. Um, and two, we were able to also uh, go through the audit history. You were able to see where you can see resource audit for your, all your Microsoft Entra roles. And then you are able to also see my audit as well for your roles as well. So, um, and you see this export as well. You can export this if you wanted to export this as well. Um, and then even for resource audit, you're able to export this. And, you know, um, so what you probably do for an auditor, you'd probably give them global reader rights, let them be able to go in here and they'd be able to see what's going on within your organization. And then that's pretty much it. If they need to pull it, they can. Um, they have that export uh, option there as well. So um, that's it. This is a quick and short video. I hope that the information I provided you is beneficial. Uh, this is exactly what you were looking for. If not, uh, please leave a comment down in the comment section. I, I'm more than happy to hear if there was something else that you're looking for when it comes to privilege identity management. Um, I do have other videos. Uh, remember, this is a deep dive series. So uh, please look at the other videos. It might be something that you are looking to understand a little bit more. And I'm explaining it in some of the other videos. So if you haven't done so already, please smash that like and subscribe button. Uh, here at Cloud Scholars, my goal is to get you from scholar to consultant. And of course, consultant to expert. Thank you and see you next time.